Hey guys, it's Duncan, and today I've got a special in-depth application review on an app called Seven Days Apocalypse. This one's looking like a really cool one, and you guys will definitely want to check it out. If you like anything like iDracula, this is going to be a really app that you want to check out. So let's get this one started. first thing that comes to mind when talking about Seven Days Apocalypse is Eye Dracula, which is likely the best zombie shooting game in the App Store. Between the controls, which are a perfect mirror of Dra Eye Dracula, to the gameplay, which is also uncannily similar, to even some of the dynamics, such as the various weapons and health that you pick up as you go, at first glance, Seven Days looks like an absolute ripoff of Eye Dracula, with the only major difference being the rough, unnamed vampire hunter has been replaced by a woman named Akimi who, for some reason, is always covered in blood. However, once you begin playing the game, you will really realize that Seven Days has a lot going for it. When you begin the game, you'll notice there are two modes to choose from, History and Survival. Survival plays very similarly to Eye Dracula, in that you have no goals whatsoever, but you can survive as long as you can. The longer you go, the higher levels you will reach. With the higher levels come more zombies and ghosts, so the difficulty increases as you continue on. You will find that making it much past level 3 or so, generally which lasts a few minutes, will begin to be very, very challenging. As in Eye Dracula, you will pick up various weapons such as a laser blaster and chainsaw to accompany your dual pistols with unlimited ammunition that you will have at the start. While survival is entertaining, it would be much more so if the difficulty was turned down a bit so you could last a while. The way it is, it's fun, but I mean, it, I would prefer if you could last at least a few minutes. Now, the real reason that you would buy Seven Days instead of, or in addition to, I Dracula is the history mode, which is basically story mode. As the name suggests, the story consists of seven days, or seven levels. The premise of the story is very simple. An unknown virus called the S-Virus is killing the human population and turning people into, what else, flesh-eating zombies. Your job is to assist a scientist to save the world from the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, seen it, done that one before, but hey, it's a zombie game. <laughs> Throughout the week, you do this in different ways, such as you escort her across the courtyard while defending off zombies. Uh, you collect bio containers that are spread out. Um, you eradicate. You have to eradicate the ghosts. A lot, there's a lot of different things like that, and I, I've got to say, I really think that's a nice touch, the, having all kinds of different things to actually do instead of just randomly shooting. And with each passing day, come the game just gets more and more difficult. One feature that I always love is in games is an autosave feature, which will save your game whether you, whenever you close the app and just let you jump right back in whenever you want. This is something I wish all apps really had because... I can't tell you how many times I've had to go jump up and do something, and I don't want to leave my iPod running for 30, 45 minutes, whatever, I've got to do something. So I do hit the home button, shut it off, toss it in my pocket, don't worry about it, and as soon as I get some free time, pull it back out and just jump right back in. One other thing that 7 Days has is a really cool, uh, hard techno, I'm sorry, techno, what am I thinking? Rock, techno, I don't know what. It's got a really good rock uh, theme. It's perfect, perfect for a zombie, for a zombie game. And I actually gotta say, it's got some really good music. Obviously nothing that you would recognize, but it's got some good music. It'll really get you pumping for the game. Along with the entertaining, and definitely very challenging, I mean, by the time you get to day six, I, it, I'm stuck on day six, I'll tell you that, I, I can't get past it. Um, history mode contains the other major reason to buy the game, the graphics. Well, in Eye Dracula, there are some admittedly very nice pixel-based graphics. Seven Days is entirely rendered in extremely nice-looking 3D. There are no frame rate issues at all, and in general, the game just looks fantastic. The standard view is an overhead view, which shows you and your surroundings quite nicely, but there's also a third-person view that looks fantastic for the eye devices. The graphics really shine in this viewpoint. Everything looks crisply rendered, and again, there are no frame rate issues whatsoever. Compared to many of the first and third person shooters available in the App Store, this is just fantastic. However, sadly, this, this, use, this view is largely useless. Con the controls that work quite well when you can see all around you just totally fall apart when you have no idea what's coming behind you. That's probably my biggest single complaint of this game, is that the fantastic looking third person view really just isn't playable. 
If the developers were to create a new control scheme for the third person view, 7 Days would instantly become probably one of my top favorite applications. I will want to note that occasionally the controls have glitched out on me, which uh, is just about all I've seen in the way of bugs so far. Um, exiting the application and restarting it fixed the problem pretty simply, which is decent until uh, the next update comes out. So it, that's definitely not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. It just kind of sometimes when you get into it, you'll start moving and the controls will freeze. So you're just walking one way and shooting one way. You can't really do anything about it. But uh, yeah, like I said, that's something to that be fixed in the next update. So it's no big deal. Overall, Seven Days meshes the fantastically successful formula of Eye Dracula with some really impressive 3D graphics, a decent story mode with some real potential in the form of the third person viewpoint. There is a major update in the, on the way that will include online high scores, more levels, missions, weapons, items, more monsters, just basically everything. Apparently all this new content will be enough for a name change, which will be called, it'll be called Seven Days Apocalypse Mutilation, Force Zombie, yeah. And it's looking like it might be take on, be able to take on the role of an expansion pack. Very few applications in the App Store really capitalize on this, and they just mostly just small little updates. So the fact that Seven Days is going to, and of course the updates are free, that really impresses me. Along with the graphics, will come a price increase. So you should definitely consider picking up Seven Days now while it's still 99 cents. Be sure to check out Zizzard.com for the latest app reviews, iPhone and iPod Touch news, tips and tricks for your device, jailbreaking information and more. Thanks for watching.